In this video, I'm going to explain how do we create a pulley. We start uh, a new, but this time is the part. Right. On the tutorial exercise, there's a drawing gives you all the detail of the dimensions. You have to follow these dimensions to create your pulley. But here, I only do a demonstration. Therefore, I don't actually follow exactly the, the dimension given by your drawing, but you have to, because that is the one you have to use for your assignment. So again, you have to follow the dimension. In terms of the how to make the pulley, you can just refer to my demonstration here. We use extrude, select the front plane, use circle by center point, move to the middle, and make a, a circle. Right, you have to actually control the dimension yourself. So that is the plane I'm going to make first. I'm going to use the symmetric protrusion. Okay, then get this down and click and finish. Uh, if you have looked at the, uh, the drawing, the middle part is a bit thicker than the uh, outside. So I have to make another one, another protrusion, same plane, but slightly small circle. Middle. Right. Okay. But this time, if I protrude that a bit more. And give a dimension. You have to give it a dimension uh, same as the one showing on the drawing. You don't follow my dimension. Okay. Uh, click OK. So that is the general shape. There's a hole in the middle, so I use a cut to cut the hole. Midpoint, there. Okay, click. And extrude, and make sure it goes to both directions, to red arrow go point out both directions, and click. So now you have the uh, one with a hole. So on top of that, you need to actually add some chamfers and rounds. For example, I round, round here, add round in the corner. Right, 0.5 is okay. Then I'm going to add uh, chamfers. There. One, accept it. So that's the pulley. All right. As you can see, there are five holes on this pulley. So I'm going to cut another one. Uh, use the uh, circle by center point, and make sure this is on this line, and drag to the dimension. Right click if it's too small, I can use smart dimension and uh, make it larger. All right, okay, if that's the dimension you want, just click again. You have to follow the drawings to get the dimension. So this time, again, we have to have the arrow point both end, then you can have a through hole here. Finish. Right. We have a uh, five holes evenly distributed around the uh, the center against the center of the pulley. So we have to use pattern. We can use a pattern command to make the other holes. So pattern command select it, and then you select the uh, feature you want to make the pattern. Then you accept it. Then you select the uh, 
the plane you want to make the pattern then you go to this one it's a circular pattern not this one it's a regular pattern rectangular pattern then you move your mouse once it's selected the mouse to the center of the pulley uh, midpoint and then you drag it to the edge anywhere there anywhere as long as this uh, circle been highlighted in orange with click there's a arrow come up that showing you which direction you want to make a pattern since this is a, uh, a round one doesn't really matter which direction just click on one direction then you can see these spots the red spots uh, the green spots there uh, here we have count as a six but actually we want a five so I have, we have to type five and press enter and come back to the screen and click this becomes a uh, circle becomes blue the green spots still there you can see four spots and uh, click on call sketch then you can see that they all the other four circles uh, been placed on the pretty and click on finish uh, you also need to put the chamfers on the edge of this hose uh, the next one what you're going to do is to cut a groove here to cut a groove we need to use this uh, revert cut command select this plane All right then we use a circle by center point draw a circle there to the dimension uh, specified on the drawing okay and then we choose this axis for revolution right. then click on green tick you can see this circle go around this top uh, if you do the 360 actually you can see here the group being cut and if you click on finish you can have this uh, pretty uh, again you need to add chamfer to these edges and also you need to follow the dimensions given by the drawing not follow my dimension during the demonstration that's it for this video.